Hey everyone, how you doing today? It is Tuesday morning and you know what that means. That means we start off fast with the lumberjack landlord, Matt from the East Coast. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing awesome, Mike. Super pumped to be here. Thank you, buddy. Hey, one of the things I wanted to talk about in our first session together is really how we can help, you know, full-time employees really start yeah. what we did, right? And I'm really thinking about my course. I'm thinking about our stu my students doing deals now, which, you know, we talk about in the, uh, uh, you know, positive impact score. We got seven deals last week. So shout out my students. Awesome. And awesome. I want to walk through kind of my three stages of this. This is what I try yeah. to help people with and, and kind of get your feedback. Are you cool? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. So as you know, there are a lot of people interested in doing what you and I have done, right? Building a portfolio over time and ultimately having the flexibility if we choose to retire, right? Sounds cool. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sounds yeah. cool, right? But, but a lot of people get stuck at a couple of different stages. First, they get stuck at the interest level, right? I'm yeah. interested. And they just kind of circle the drain and spiral, right? And what I'm trying to do is take that interest and convert it into good activity, yes. right? So that's why I consider the first step of my course, okay, stop everything you're doing and focus, Right. Yeah. You've heard me talk about, you know, if your market is this big, you got to really, you know, focus on, you know, like that little bit. And then you got to do yeah. that consistently. And when you do that enough times, and usually it's 45, it could be 90 days, somewhere in there. Then I want to help you write good offers. And that's yeah. it. Right. If yeah. you write good or great offers, eventually you're going to get a good or great deal. Now we happen to be operating in 2021 with no freaking inventory. I can't control that. <clears throat> but right. if I if I can help you walk from because if, if we can just convert 50% more people out of the good activity, just spiraling on bigger pockets and That's YouTube right. and all of that stuff. That's right. Okay. Hey, get <clears> focused. <throat> and again, it's only 10 or 20 minutes a day. And then I can help you write good offers. Uh, I'm going to call that a success. What do you think about that? I mean, dead on, right? I mean, I think, but what you're teaching is a bigger life lesson, right? And that is getting off the sidelines, get your ass in the game you know, how many, you and I both worked in software. We're both execs in software. We both had teams. Yep. And how much did you hate the 10th of January when every rep was presenting his plan of how he was going to get to his number for the year? <laughs> yeah. Not as much as I hated April 10th when they were telling me how they were going to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what we're really talking about is we're moving people from, I always used to tell people hope is not a strategy. Yeah. And I said, and if your strategy doesn't involve significant action, that's all it is, is hope. Yeah. And I promise you that phone is not going to start ringing. So I heard you were trying to break into the real estate business. I've got a great deal for you. It's going to give you 6% yield or, or 6% the rock. Yeah. And congratulations, you're now on the property ladder. Right. Like that is never going to happen. You're never going to get a deal ever. Yeah. And regardless of what the result is today, writing those good and great offers, regardless of the result, you need to create that muscle memory. You need to create the lessons that you're going to learn when you lose and realize that it's okay to lose. I used to, as I said a couple of weeks ago, I used to hate losing deals. Mm. Now I have no problem losing deals because I know I'm writing great offers. Right. And if I got a deal, I way it goes. And that's the type, those are the type of deals you want to be writing. Yeah. I, you know, I, there's a couple of things in this kind of mindset. And again, I'm trying to help more and more folks, right? If I have a thousand sure. students now and they got seven deals in a week, I can't wait till we have 10,000 students Holy cow, and we're yeah. doing 50 deals a week. Right. That's, yeah. that's why I'm here. Right. You, you asked earlier, could I ever go back to sales? And the answer is no, because yeah. I really get a kick out of getting those either Instagram messages or emails yeah. or texts going, Hey, got another one, right? That's, yeah. that's why I'm here now for the next 50 years. And it really is folks. If you write a good or great offer, you're, you've done your job. That's you right. can't force the other person to say yes, <clears throat> especially right. in a market with no inventory. That's I don't right. want you to overbid. I don't want you to chase. Right. I've never done it. I don't want you to do it. I want you to learn your market, do the work, write a good or great offer. And if you don't get it, Muscle memory, like you said, rinse and repeat, do it That's again right. and right. do it again and do it again. That's right. I mean, the funny thing is, is it's like now, you know, you, you remember the, you remember the ones that you didn't get. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But in a down economy, you're just going to go buy them again anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> who cares? You know, I remember there was a property I missed out on and that happened in, oh, 
uh, that happened in 06, 05, 06, it happened. And I missed out on the property. And I literally bought that house, I think three years later in foreclosure. I bought that house for a fraction. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's like, it's like the old, you know, the old stock market analyst line, you know, if I liked it at 54, I love it at 48. <laughs> You know, and it's kind of like that whole process, which was yeah. like, that was exactly where I was. I was like, man, if I liked it at 300, I love it at 185. Yeah. And that's the thing is just creating that muscle memory and these, these behaviors and habits that people have to have. Success is a habit. Yeah. It's a habit. You have to do the things and you have to be unsuccessful at first. That's life. That's the way it goes. Success is a journey. It's not a destination. And that's the stuff that I'm always focusing on is making that next sex successful. And if I don't own the outcome, I'm not going to beat myself up over the fact that I didn't get the result that I wanted. If I didn't own the outcome, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it goes, but you're, you're not going to write great. De- I mean, I write flawless deals, almost flawless deals. Now I didn't, when I started, yeah. that's kind of how it goes. And you just hone the craft and you get better and better. It's a skill and it's the 10,000 hours thing, right? If yeah. you're doing all of these other things, it's like, you can't just drop in and say, well, I listen to Mike and I listen to Lumberjack and I listen to these other different channels. And so I'm completely, I'm completely uh, avoiding risk here. No, you're educated and that's important, but then it's important to take that education and put it into play. Yeah. Control what you can control, right? That was the big thing that's in right. sales, right? It is, that's right. As long as you're doing your efforts and the best, best efforts, you got to sort of accept the outcome. And now, especially in real estate, right? All yeah. I can do, it, I can help you convert from interest to good activity to good offers. That is a skill. Right. That is a process. To your point, that is a habit. Let's 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 get the. Ha- and the beauty of this is, it is people need to realize it's ten to twenty minutes a day. That's all it is. Right. When you get that focused on your set of things, you could be done. And I get this occasionally, right? I got to post in our fit private Facebook group two days ago, I think. Hey, I'm doing this. I'm growing my network. I'm this, I'm that. What else should I be doing? I'm like, dude, enjoy life. Make some memories, yeah. right? <laughs> if, 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 if you do your daily activity and you, you've done it, it's okay to do other stuff, right? This is a, right. this is a consistency, right. consistency thing. I don't want people yes. to dive into this. Like if you dive into my course and you're spending three hours a day, that's to me, that's going to lead to burnout, yep. right? Sure. Uh, I would much rather you do 30 minutes a day for a year than three hours a day for a month, right? If yeah. that makes sense. With all of these, it's slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow yeah. and steady. Like I always talk about that constant consistency, being constant and being consistent, you know, constant consistency, always doing that stuff methodically. And it's not like, you know, you don't have to punish yourself if you didn't do your 20 minutes one night, but you just need to be consistent because the other thing you have to always be thinking about is, is that other person outworking you? Yeah. Is that other person doing the more work, doing more, you know, looking at more stuff. So they're getting up to speed faster. So they're going to be more ready for that opportunity. And I think that's what I talk to folks about is, you know, yeah, you can burn out. So you just want to be careful of that. However, at the same time too, there does have to be a minimum level of commitment that you're going to have to invest in this to get any sort of return. You know? Yeah. And I, I just got to close on this first topic. That's the big one for me. If you have interest, but you're not willing to do the work, right? You want the phone to ring instead of you, ring, you know, dialing the phone. Um, do yourself a favor, go find something else. Yeah. Become an Amazon drop shipper or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Just, I, I can't stand people who reach out to me. I read your book. I have interest. And then I tell them the next step and they don't do it. Right. It's like, why the freaking hell did you waste my time? And, yeah. you know, um, I value my time most. That's why I Very don't much. do one-on-one mentoring, right? Because I just don't want, yep. I mean, I, I don't, you couldn't pay me enough to say yes. Right? Agreed. Agreed. hundred percent. But that's why the course is there, right? So again, do not buy the course unless you're going to do the work. Because I promise you, step one of my course is work. I don't get into yeah. the mindset stuff, which we'll do in step two here until later. Because I want to, I want to kick you in the teeth and go, are you going to do the work, right? Yeah. Yes or no, right? And the students that do, write good offers. And then sometimes right. they get deals. And we got seven last week. It was pretty amazing. Well, I mean, clearly, you know, the, the model's working, right? Yeah. It's working. You know, it's the awesome. model's working and people are, people are grabbing a hold of it and they're changing their lives. This cannot be underscored enough. This is 15 or 20 minutes. That's going to absolutely change people's lives. And if you don't think it's that, 
then you're not doing it right. Yeah. You're just not doing it right. This changed people's lives. You just look at it one after the other and the, the life that you're allow enabling people to create for themselves through, you know, your experiences and your, your other, you know, experts experiences is just can't be, you can't put a price on it. Yeah. It really, it, I mean, it's, it changes lives. Yeah. And I got to tell you, seeing seven deals close last week was oh, pretty awesome. awesome. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even write the book. I'm just on the channel an hour a week and I was thrilled. I was like, dude, seven deals. Hell, get out of New Hampshire. I hope they don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Take care of yourself. This is a blast. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Uh-huh.